or detected that fact far too late, had to make a sudden right turn and move off in another direction in order to avoid running into it. This risk of collision may explain why the layout of the royal tombs changed over the centuries. The earliest tombs had L-shaped plans, but after a few generations, this design was discarded. Tombs were laid out in straight lines instead. In an overcrowded valley, straight tombs took up much less real estate. For the men who actually built the tombs, each week started with tools being handed out. Scribes kept careful records of any copper tools issued. In ancient Egypt, copper was so valuable that each chisel was worth well over a month's pay. They kept careful tabs on who had what copper. And at the beginning of the week, the chisels were weighed. Weighed. And then at the end of the week, the chisels were weighed to make sure that they weren't shaving off any of the copper to sell it. With only such basic tools to hand, tomb building relied on sheer muscle power. For the men at the rock face, conditions were tough. Imagine dust choking the air, the humidity at 95%, the temperature as high as you could almost possibly bear, stones falling about you, and of course a foreman who, by God, is going to get